I think it, the Save the Lee campaign is a fantastic community uh, movement in Cork. Uh, I was really lucky to be, if I wasn't a part of it, to, to witness this from the very beginning um, and the way that the community of architects around Cork initially rounded together uh, on this proposal and how they were very able to explain what the matters involved mean to the people of Cork and how that inspired then the everyday person in Cork to, to recognise the, the threat that the OPW plan poses to Cork. Well, I think it's a very important campaign because it's a grassroots organisation of people who really care about their city and are coming together and have lots of positive ideas about how to improve it. This isn't a campaign that's simply saying no, it's a campaign that is giving lots of options um, for decision makers. Well, to me, it, it highlights the fact that this is not only a city that a, a river runs through, but a river runs through it twice. It's a city of 29 bridges. It's a, a river and a city of enormous character. And what's being proposed is, is, is to dilute that, that very much pride and character effect that a lot of Corkonians feel about their river and their city. Uh, we fully support the Save the Lee campaign in saying that uh, it, it isn't these these half-hearted and destructive measures that should be put in uh, as being proposed by the Office of Public Works, but the uh, up and down river proposals that the Save the Lee campaign have uh, very articulated put across, uh, and if the money was properly invested, would, would protect this city for many decades and hopefully centuries to come from the fear of flooding. Well, I think the Lee is very important to Cork City. Um, it's something that really defines the city. The city has always been built around the Lee and it's about time that we started as a city to use the Lee as an amenity. Um, a few weeks ago I was at the Lee Swim, um, which is an amazing event um, that was about, ar around celebrating um, our relationship with the River Lee. And that's the relationship that we should have with it. Um, and the, a, a relationship that our policy makers should actually implement as well. Um, so I think I think it's very important. Um, I, I love the Lee. The Cork Greens, uh, we were there at the early meetings. Uh, we were also uh, vocally supporting the campaign uh, from the very beginning. What we have done is we have rounded in behind the campaign and we have integrated the proposals from the campaign into our own uh, local policies here in Cork. So we made submissions to OPW opposing the plan uh, and supporting the Save the Lee campaign in that. We've also um, integrated the Save the Lee proposals into our proposals for the, the Docklands. So we think that there's no point in redeveloping the Docklands if we're going to either destroy the city um, and the heritage that, that that has or not have a tidal barrage uh, out for it to protect the Docklands. Well, we are a city that's faced onto the river, both both uh, branches of the river. But we are, we should be a city that uses the river more. That uh, that has the idea of, of water buses. That uh, has people facing the river as much as possible, as you see in a lot of other European cities, for instance. Uh, we we have that advantage, uh, and we should be using it more. Uh, maybe we need the weather a bit more, but certainly the the river is there for us, and this is a city of character in which we take a lot of pride in. Well, the solution is certainly not to put up large concrete walls um, polluting quite a lot of the, uh, the water resources um, of, of the city. Um, I think the solution is to um, defend the historical context of the old part of Cork City because what's happening now at the same time is that there's going to be uh, billions of euros invested into the Docklands area of Cork which means a lot of new development is going to be happening, which will be drawing people away from the city centre if we, if we have um, a plan like the current Office of Public Works plans, which will you know, degrade the character of the city to a point where people wouldn't necessarily want to be in it anymore. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's a big problem, and I think it's a massive problem that we're having billions of euro worth of development in the Docklands, but we're not protecting it with a barrage, um, which would be extremely cost effective. And also, in terms of you know, the fact that climate change is also going to be causing problems in the future, we need to be safeguarding that as well. So we need joined up thinking um, between the Office of Public Works and the Dockland developments in order to get a solution that um, is one that's good for Cork City.